Hey listeners, you're tuned into Cities Radio, where we've got the best music from anywhere in the world. It's actually really crazy if you think about it. How can we afford it? <laughs> anyway, we have a lot of great music for you coming up in between the commercials. This is Cities Radio, home of music. This is Cities Radio. I'm L. You know, like the letter. You're listening to Cities Radio, the best music from around the globe. This is Cities Radio, the best music in the universe. Welcome back. This is L, playing you the best music around. Don't go away because I'll be here pretty much all day. I hope they don't forget to bring my lunch again. I really like being a radio host. But if I could change one thing, it would probably be to see the faces of all our awesome listeners. I'm not sure how I can, though, since I'm sitting in this booth all day. Maybe if there was a big chat room or a bunch of mirrors. As I go around the city, I see people doing so many interesting things. Driving, working, riding a bike, painting, eating a sandwich. The city has a lot to offer. So what do you do while you listen to City's Radio? Drop me a line and let me know. In the meantime, let's play some more music. Haven't you been hearing more about disasters lately? I'm not sure if it's just me, but I feel like meteors and sinkholes just didn't happen as much when I was younger. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. One time, the street behind my house just disappeared. It was there one day, then gone the next. The weird thing was, nobody seemed to want to talk about it. Maybe it was too scary. Actually, if things can just disappear randomly, maybe I can disappear. <laughs> that is scary. I need to play another song. Hello, I'm Elle at Cities Radio, and I just wanted to thank you for taking a break from listening to all the other sounds of the city. You know, the honking, barking, yelling, and chirping to listen to the true sounds of the city right here on Cities Radio. We'll be playing the best music from around the globe all afternoon. So stay where you are and don't go away. Elle here. I have a question for you guys. Do you ever wonder how the mailman delivers mail to the whole city every day? And what about when the mail comes from another city and he has to go get it before bringing it here? I can see why stamps are so expensive. Anyway, if you're listening, mailman, this one's for you. Hello, I'm your host, Elle, and you're listening to Cities Radio. Sometimes I like to check our listener emails and see what people are talking about. Here's one. Elle, what are you doing this weekend? Well, I don't have any plans, really. I think I might go to the zoo again and try to communicate with the animals. Last weekend, I was close to a breakthrough, but a cow kept telling me to move and I lost my place. So what are you listeners going to do this weekend? Drop us a line and let us know. Maybe I'll see you there. You're listening to Cities Radio. As a radio host, I feel like I have the best job in the world. I get to sit in a studio for hours and hours listening to my favorite music and talking to people that almost never talk back. There's a window into another room where Alex sits and moves all the knobs. Hi, Alex. Alex says his microphone doesn't work, but that's fine. I'll just talk to you listeners after the song. You're listening to the classics, the city's home for the hits from the 80s, 90s, and onward. 1780s and 1890s, that is. I'll be playing some lesser-known gems from those eras, so don't go away. The classics. Old music for old listeners. Hello again from the classics, the home of of the flute. Welcome to the classics. Classical music for classy people. And that's not classist, that's classicist. Look it up. The classics, where we harp on the chordists and flout the flautists. Thanks for listening to the classics. Your home for the best works of the great masters. You're listening to the classics, the home of music that looks as good on paper as it sounds when played through an oboe. 
This is The Classics, the city's number one source for music older than the city itself. A lovely piece. It sort of reminds me of the time I was out by the lake enjoying the sun and the trees and I was in such a good mood that I pulled out my phone and listened to the very track we just heard. Delightful. You're listening to The Classics, and I've just got some mail from one of our listeners, Todd H. Why did Johann Sebastian Bach throw out his harpsichord? Because it was Baroque. Todd, a noble effort, but J.S. Bach loved his harpsichord and would never have thrown it out, as it would have almost certainly been dismantled and used as firewood by the countless peasants of Leipzig. Anywho... You're listening to the classics, where if it is Baroque, then don't fix it. Welcome back. Isn't there something about the flute that just makes you want to make a cup of tea, kick back, relax, and spend the better part of a decade learning to play that subtlest of woodwinds, the flute? Hmm... If only I had the time. Now, let's play another recording. Thanks for joining me through that exquisite selection of beautiful music. I think we have a moment, so let's go to the listener emails and see what they have to say. Mm -hmm. Here's one. Will you ever play any music featuring drum machines? Well, listener, I don't think so. You see, I find it's much more pleasing to listen to the sound that the drum produces when struck, rather than the manufacturing process or the equipment on which drums are made. Next thing you know, we'll be listening to flute machines and oboe machines, I think that's one bit of modernity that we can do without. Thanks again for the message. This one is for you. Good to have you back. I've got an email from a listener who asks, You only play ancient music, play something new. Well, concerned listener, I think you are confused. We don't play any music from antiquity. You're thinking of our rival Plato 88O at 88.4. As for the classics, practically all the music you hear is quite recent from the last 400 years. Thanks for listening. Back again with another email that asks, What did society look like outside of the concert halls of old Europe? Well, it's a good question. Not all of the members of old European society were famous music composers. <laughs> Quite the opposite. The makeup of European society was roughly 20% pirates, 10% military generals, 50% chimney sweeps, and 20% music composers. Thanks for the message. And remember, you can always let us know your thoughts by email, as we have resolved our billing dispute with our internet service provider. Enjoy. Gold FM, bringing the sweet sounds of the 60s to your ears. Hey, listeners, you're tuned in to Gold FM, the sound of the 60s. This is Gold FM, your favorite hits from the 60s. You're listening to Gold FM, the station that plays to the beat of a different drum. Don't go away. We've got the best from the 60s playing for you, all day and all night. This is Gold FM, the channel where living in the past is not only encouraged, it's mandatory. Gold FM. You don't have to have lived in the 60s to enjoy the sound, but it helps. You're listening to what is now officially known as Gold FM. We won our legal battle against a certain geology channel that won't be named. Gold FM. 
where the music really rocks. You're listening to Gold FM, where vinyl is worth more than gold. Or the same, maybe a little less. It's just vinyl. This is Gold FM. I love the 60s. You know, people tell me I'm living in the past and that I can't adapt to the new way of the world, but that's just not true. I can adapt to the new world, I just don't want to. I mean, are we just all worker bees working for someone else's dollar? Not me. Anyway, listen, I gotta play a song. My boss is telling me to wrap it up. Here's one for you, Sherry. Welcome to Gold FM. I want to say sorry for being late. I got stuck in some terrible traffic on the way into the office. It wasn't until an hour later that I realized I'd accidentally turned into the stadium parking lot. They paint those lines on the ground so they look like lanes. I just figured the other cars were those self-driving ones I'd heard so much about. This is Gold FM. Have you ever wondered why there are so many sports teams these days? When I was growing up, I can only remember maybe two or three. And who needs more than that? Think of all the waste that goes into making all those helmets, all those pads, all those stadiums. Call me old-fashioned, but I'd say two teams is enough. Red team and blue team. Here's a song that reminds me of when red teams caught home runs and blue teams scored basket saves. This one's from me. People asked me if I was out protesting back in the old days, and yeah, man, I totally was. They tried to increase the price of parking meters by four cents. We lost that battle, but I think we won the war. Got a message here in the Gold FM inbox. What's the best club to use if you're on the edge of the fairway and bunker with a northern wind? This is Gold FM, not Gulf FM. I really wish they'd change their email. Welcome back to Gold FM. A lot of my memories from the 60s were all those wild shows. There was this one at the Fillmore that was pretty crazy. I'd seen bears on three wheels before, but never two. Such a great set. I watched that bear perform three nights in a row before he moved on. This is Gold FM. When we were kids, we used to wander around building tree houses, going on adventures, and breaking bottles in the old limestone quarry. I tried to go back to that old quarry recently and saw they filled it in and built houses on it. What a waste. If you ask me, they should have kept it the way it was. A 20-meter cliff overlooking unwanted furniture and construction scrap, just the way nature left it. Oh well, can't stop the train of suburban sprawl. 